Hello and welcome to India AI. Today I have with me Team Detected, engineering college students from Nagpur who created a powerful platform to detect deep fake media. But what are deep fakes? Let's find out in this short video. Hello, I am Frank Underwood. This is Team Detected from India. They are in the fight against deep fakes. And their aim is to counter the disinformation warfare. Welcome both the authors from Team Detected. Please talk about this platform a little bit and what are deep fakes? What is this phenomenon which we hear about so much nowadays? Yeah, so deep fakes are kind of an emerging threat. They are a kind of an emerging cyber threat and deep fakes, it's a combination of two words, words that is deep learning and fakes. So deep fakes are being used by bad actors to manipulate videos or maybe we can call them AI generated or AI manipulated videos that uh, through deep fakes, we can make people say things or do things that they have never done or said. So as you saw in the previous video, we got Mr. Kevin Spacey to introduce our team. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's not something that he would have said generally. So yes. th this is how deep fakes are generated. And these days, they, these days, the technology to create deep fakes is easily accessible and it only took us 15 minutes to create the previous deep fake. So, so basically, these are videos which are not true. This is all doctored media. It can also be pictures. And today in the age of social networking, where pictures and videos get viral, like big spread like wildfire, I can imagine what a threat it would be if the intent behind spreading it is bad. Um, we know that we've had examples in the past, but let's talk about um, what statistics say. I think I believe you have some statistics for us. Um, the sheer volume of it is growing so much. Uh, please talk about it a little bit. Yeah. So, ma'am, as you said, the fake media spreads really quickly, and statistics show that the fake news it spreads six times faster than the real news. And what is astonishing is that deep fakes they are not growing at a hundred times or a two hundred times a year. They're growing at the rate of six thousand eight twenty times per year. We already have one one lakh forty five thousand of them on the internet. That makes the cost of disinformation go up to seventy eight billion dollar, especially in times like these the COVID where the fake news regarding vaccines and all those things is spreading pretty quickly. So that can really be a big problem for countries, for democracies, for governments, if the fake news it spreads. And one of the worst problems of deep fakes is that they are used by bad actors for creating pornographic deep fake media, uh, targeting women and young girls. Well, over the last year, we've definitely, all of us ex have experienced uh, what a pandemic does. But on the sideline, what we also saw is what an infodemic can do. And uh, an infodemic is probably more tough to, to control than a pandemic. We've seen governments feel helpless in the face of it. So um, you want to highlight some of the prominent cases that we've seen in the re recent past? Yeah, sure. We actually have some of the terrifying cases. So deep fakes are being weaponized by criminals for a variety of crimes, including revenge, public shaming, manipulating the voter behavior, and even they are being weaponized to trigger international conflict. So some of the terrifying cases that we have recently seen were that of the Indian journalist Rana Yu, who yes. expressed her opinion or certain things. And as a result, she was the target of deep fake pornography. Yes. Not just this, not the, just the journalist. But deepfakes video, they also led to an attempted military coup in Gabon, Africa, or even when a deepfake video of President Donald Trump was used to trigger an international conflict. So these are just some of the cases. Recently in India, during the Delhi elections, a deepfake video of a politician was made viral to, you know, harm his reputation during the elections. So that's obviously the beginning, but it can go ahead. And Anybody who's in the public domain, all celebrities, all well-known people, is very common to see doctored videos, especially with like, I think, film actresses and pornography, how we know how it goes hand in hand, and deep fakes are to blame. So do you want to talk a little bit about how it's becoming a social menace very, very quickly? Yeah, it's actually growing at a very rapid pace. Uh, here in this graph, you can see that most of the deep fakes in the world, they originate in Russia, Ukraine, and all the entire former USSR countries. However, India is not far behind. About 2% of the deep fake videos in the world, they are created, they are generated in India. 
okay. it's not just the uh, celebrities or high level people who are targeted but the group which is targeted most often are common young girls uh, statistics show that uh, bad actors they create most of the deep fake videos of the girls that they know in real life were common girls and as of now there are about 27000 deep fake videos available on the internet however people might think that the technology to create deep fakes is a very sophisticated technology and might not be accessible to everyone but we have deep fake bots and all types of services available on applications like telegram that are actually you know allowing people to create deep fakes at a very low cost and very quickly so you can see the headline of an article which says that a deep fake bot is being used to undress common under underage girls so these types of bots they are available widely on the telegram applications and many other websites so, so we already know that the world is probably not the safest for girls and until now it was the physical world but now i think it is also the digital world which going to these deep fakes and all of these other weapons that have come into the hands and as you say is are very accessible and very cheap to make it's also making the digital space very unsafe for young girls for young kids and not just well known people but for every one of us so the threat is real i'd like to quote uh, microsoft corporation's president who said that cyberspace is the new battlefield and everybody mm -hmm. is a potential target so the battlefield is everywhere and everybody is involved in the cyber war definitely um but we know that artificial intelligence uh, has been able to provide solutions to a lot of the contemporary challenges and i believe that there is a there is a solution that we have and there is one that you have built yourselves so please talk about the platform detected that you have built as a team okay so we've built detected and detected is artificial intelligence based sophisticated web platform that allows users whether individuals or organizations to simply verify the authenticity of media that they consume for their own purposes or they share with billions of other people so earlier deep uh, detecting deep fakes for a was a very challenging task for individuals because it required a expertise in artificial intelligence domain but what we have done is that we've created this platform where the user can simply visit our website upload a media from his local system whether a photograph or a video then our the video or photo it is passed through a state of the art model mm -hmm. it is analyzed for ai forgery and whether the video is deep fake or not the results are returned to the user within minutes so mm -hmm. we've really really reduced the deep fake detection time from about 15 to 20 minutes to just about 3 minutes at the max we'd like to see it in action but before that can you highlight for us how your platform is different from some of the others that are already available in the market yeah so uh, most of the solutions that are available in the market either they are not reliable because they use the age old technology while the technology to create deep fakes it's advancing rapidly so what we have done is that we have created a reliable platform using a state of the art models existing solutions are slow so we try to make a solution as fast as possible we just do deep fake detection within 3 minutes most of these websites they are not accessible to everyone so we have ensured that our website it is accessible to more than 95% of the color blind people powerful technology intuitive ui and we have accuracy of 96% so that's very interesting guys congratulations on building this product um but we'd also like to see it in action so let's actually see how it works in real life can you please give us a demo sure so before proceeding just let's just have a look at the video first so that you know our viewers can have a look at the video and they can guess themselves whether the video that they are seeing is a real video or a fake one okay i wish i could keep telling you that our mission in life is connecting people but it isn't we just want to predict your future behaviors Specter showed me how to manipulate you into sharing intimate data about yourself and all those you love for free. The more you express yourself, the more we own you. So this was a very popular deep fake video of Mr. Mark Zuckerberg and as you can see he has said some things that he would never say in public, right? Because this would harm his reputation, it would harm the reputation of Facebook and so these types of videos are created by bad actors. to harm the reputation cause 
a lot of harm to the companies. So we can just check the video by uploading it to our platform and let's see what does our platform say about it. See the video is being uploaded here. So okay. while this loader is moving, this video is being uploaded to our platform. It is being sent to our backend model for analysis. And as soon as the prediction is ready, it is returned to the user saying that the video is fake and the chances are 90.8%. Okay. So this is, this is how you uh, highlight um, what the chances are of the video being fake or right. real. And this is most definitely a fake video, but this is obviously something that was very popular, but uh, we understand that this is now a platform, which is currently you're offering it for free. So anyone can right. access it and um, check for themselves, whether the media that they consume is credible or not. Right. And I do think that all of us in this day and age of social media, uh, which gives us the power to spread information, but along with it also comes the responsibility to make sure that we're being responsible citizens of a digital network and not spreading fake news, fake media, etc. So I congratulate the two of you, along with your two other teammates, Rishita Mishra and Yash Muharir, for, uh, for creating this platform. It's very reassuring to see that college students are thinking that far. And that should be a lesson for everyone. And I hope that after watching this, a lot of other people will be inspired to be more responsible and, um, and, and use artificial intelligence for social good like you guys thought of doing. So congratulations and it was lovely speaking to you.